Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I just got myself ready. Um, it's Saturday, it's around noon right now. And as I said, I just got myself ready because I'm about to train quads. Now, I will be honest, this was actually planned for yesterday, but um, yeah, I had so much work to do. I had so much filming work to do, etc. I was just so exhausted and I just did some like cardio and I thought, you know what? I will do that tomorrow in the morning or around midday like right now yeah i was like yeah maybe i should just pick my camera and film this routine for my youtube channel and so here we are um before we get started i will um have a pre-workout aka my breakfast first which is the usual um it's some skewer or loaf of cottage cheese with um some muesli grizzly and then a banana one of my favorite breakfasts ever i eat this almost daily it's super yummy. <laughs> I also quickly wanted to mention that in the last couple of weeks I've noticed that my motivation has come. It has come. Some days I'm really struggling to get in my workouts and, and, and just to be positive in general, you know, and be productive. Um, so yeah, if you find like, oh my god, that's me too, keep in mind that motivation will come and motivation will go. So it's better to not rely on motivation in every aspect of your life with everything you do, because then you will notice that a lot of the times you will be disappointed in yourself because you gave up, because you didn't do what you told yourself to do. And that's exactly the same with fitness and with training. Um, I also uh, talked about this a couple of days ago on my stories, on my Instagram, and you just have to create habits for yourself and of course keep continuing to follow those habits. So if you're looking to build the physique of your dreams, your goal physique, um, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of creating habits and trust me, the most beautiful physics you have come across to on social media or just in the fitness world or whatever, um, they have been built through habits and being consistent day in day out for years um, so if you're struggling to to see results it's probably a lack of consistency and of course to create habits you need a structured plan a structured diet plan a structured workout plan i can ensure you that will help you so 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 much in getting those results um, before you know you will compare your pictures after a couple of months and you will be like oh Oh my god, is that me? Is that the same person? Ooh. And so the reason why I'm telling you all of this is because I'm honestly speaking for myself. As I said in the beginning of this video, I am um, sometimes, yeah, losing my motivation and I I really try to not rely on motivation and um, yeah, rely back on my habits, which I've created a couple of years ago when I was 17 years old, when I just started out fitness and honestly, yeah. And I'm just so proud that I've never really taken a break um, from for a couple of weeks or even months. I've always stayed consistent throughout the years. And okay, maybe some weeks were better than other weeks, but I've always stayed consistent with my nutrition, with my training uh, program and always got in my workouts regardless of how motivated I was. So that was my little message to you guys. <clears throat> um, yeah, if you want to get results, create habits, get yourself a structured program. Speaking about structured programs, I am here to help always. That's why I'm providing free content on my Instagram and here on my YouTube channel. But if you're looking for the structured program, um, so you can move on for a couple of weeks, for 12 or 16 weeks, without worrying about what kind of workout should I do next? What kind of exercise should I do next? Please have a look in the description box down below because there I have the link to my website as I have several guides. Most of them are lower body focused to help you build the legs of your dreams. And of course, very important, my guides are designed by me and they are focused to how I've been training for several years. So I can ensure you those are not uh, random <laughs> workouts, but literally the workouts that have helped me build my legs throughout to years. So with that being said, it's time to finally eat my breakfast <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then it's time to pump up those quads. But first, I think I will need a good, good pre-workout. Alright, so prepared my pre-workout drink. I've put two scoops of, let me show you, 
uh, Mango Oxyshred by EHP Labs in here. And, uh, and yeah, before we get started, uh, there are a couple of things that I quickly wanted to mention um, before jumping into the workout. So first of all, never skip on your warming up routine. My warming up routine for my leg days is super simple. It's just a dynamic warming up routine with a couple of exercises. Um, it takes about five to max 10 minutes, but I would rather say around five minutes. Now, aside from the dynamic warm up, which is absolutely key in your leg workout, a few other things which you should definitely pay attention to in this leg workout are my rep ranges, my exercise selection, the order of my exercises, and then also uh, time under tension, which is also a very important factor, and also what kind of training methods I use. No, and I can't emphasize enough how important those five things are, because they can literally make the same workout twice as intense. And then another thing I want you to keep attention to is that you will notice the moment my face expression uh, starts like, like this, like I'm all, almost done with it, I will push through it. And it's proven that the moment you feel like, oh my god, I can't anymore, I'm so sore, that's the moment that you have to push two or maybe three reps extra and it's proven that you can do it. You can do it, but you just have to believe it, it's just a mindset thing. So the moment you feel like, oh my god, I'm in so much pain, push through it because those are the reps that will make um, the change in the end. I know it sounds a little bit like, like, yeah, like unrealistic, but it is the truth. Building big quads is so much hard work, it's so much pain. And think back to your own workouts. Was it really challenging? Was it making you like exhausted or not? Was it leaving you in pain, yes or not? Because leg like, days aren't fun. In the end, they just aren't fun. Like everybody on Instagram is always like, oh, I love my leg days so much. Honestly, as I do like the feeling of, you know, of training legs and then having my legs a little bit sore and also pushing during my workout sessions. But, but honestly, every time before I train my quads, I'm always like, oh no, 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 no. This is gonna be one hell of a pain thing. Painting, no. This is gonna be so much pain and I'm gonna be so exhausted and oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. So that's basically always how I think before my leg workout. So is it fun? Absolutely not. But if it was fun, as I said, you will probably not see results.
Now tip number one, always prioritize your compound lifts because they require the most energy and strength. Then I'm doing some heavy tempo squats to kick off this routine. I'm doing a 3 to 4 seconds eccentric phase followed by an explosive concentric phase.
Moving on to the second exercise, which is once again a compound lift, one very important detail, don't place the leg you're standing on too far away and rather as close as possible. This will help you shift the focus more to the quadriceps instead of the hamstrings. To make it extra spicy, I'm implementing the drop set method here. So start off with heavy weights and lower or continue with body weight until all reps are completed.
Another thing I wanted to mention is that you will notice that during most of my sets in this workout, I stick to the same weights. The reason for this is because those weights are my maximum for that amount of reps. I could definitely increase the weights every time, but then I know I'm not able to complete all of the reps, which is a priority of mine, especially here in this workout. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really loving this exercise lately. For maximal quad emphasis, place your front leg not too far away so you can create a 90 degree angle when going down. Push your heels when coming up again and keep a nice tempo when executing this exercise.
pro tip for this exercise is to place a weight underneath your heels. This will elevate your heels and thus shift more focus forward to the quadriceps. Make sure to keep your torso upright the entire movement. Instead of doing full range of motion reps here, I opted for pulse reps with a high rep range to maximize fatigue and I can ensure you it freaking does. But that's just how I am. If I do it, I put 100 if not 200% effort and if I know that last time, for example, I squatted 100 kilos, hell no, I should squat 100 kilo as well today. So that's a little bit how my mindset works. I know that's a lot of pressure that I put on myself, but yeah, as I said, a leg day is never a fun thing. It should be challenging and I can say for myself that that is something that I really do. So yeah, I'm super happy that it's finally done. It took me approximately like one hour and a half to complete this entire routine. Um, I try to keep my rest um, to the minimal between every exercise. That's usual around one to one and a half minutes. And yeah, I truly hope you enjoyed watching this workout. I truly hope there were a lot of tips included that maybe could help you further in your fitness journey and help you along building uh, strong legs. Um, if you think this uh, video was helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And see you next time. I'm going to take a shower right now. <laughs>